The Arctic Ocean, a cold and unforgiven vast wilderness. A world so harsh and large it covers an area of about 5,430,000 square miles. This icy ocean has an average depth of 3,953 feet and it is 18,264 feet at its deepest point. The temperature of the surface water of the Arctic Ocean is fairly constant at approximately 28.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Despite the cold, icy conditions, the Arctic Oceans is home to many animals both below and above the ice. One of those animals is the polar bear, arguably one of the top predators in the world. The polar bear is the largest extant species of bear and land carnivore, with adult males weighing 660 to 1,760 pounds. But how does this giant survive in a world of ice and snow? What does it eat and how does it catch food? To answer those questions, we first need an understanding of the life that lives in this cold and icy wilderness. So let's dive beneath the ice to the world that lives below. Life here starts small with phytoplankton, but has a huge impact on the ecosystem. Phytoplankton is the main producer of the Arctic Ocean. Tiny, microscopic organisms that make their own food by converting the energy from the sun through photosynthesis. Phytoplankton eventually grows into plants such as seaweeds, sea grasses, and microscopic algae. These are responsible for much of the life here, including fish. The depths of the Arctic Ocean is home to many fish, such as the sculpin, snailfish, eel pout, and many more. But the most common and most numerous fish species in the Arctic is the Arctic cod. Life of the Arctic cod starts like many other fish. First, the female lays her eggs. The female can lay up to several million eggs, but for every million it is likely only one will survive. The male then comes and externally fertilizes the eggs. After about 15 days, tiny larvae hatch from the eggs. The larvae grow to be juveniles in about six months and eventually adults after three years. Adult cod can grow to be two meters in length and can live to six or seven years old. The Arctic cod is able to stand the freezing temperatures by producing something called a glycoprotein, which serves as antifreeze in their blood. They have many predators, but one poses a bigger threat than the others. Watching from above is the ringed seal. The ringed seal is an earless seal inhabiting the Arctic and subarctic regions. It is a relatively small seal. In fact, it is the smallest seal found in the Arctic, rarely greater than 1.5 meters in length. Weighing between 110 to 155 pounds, they can live 25 to 30 years. A pregnant ringed seal can weigh as much as 210 pounds and can have one pup per year, usually in March or April. They have a distinctive pattern of dark spots surrounded by light gray rings, hence the name ringed seal. Playing an important role are their 2.5 centimeter thick claws that they use to dig breathing holes in the ice. They have been known to dig two-meter holes in the ice. This helps them find food and live further from shore. Their main source of food is fish like Arctic cod, as well as shrimp and other crustaceans, which they hunt by diving into the water and chasing their prey. During dives, ringed seals can reach depths of 300 feet and hold their breath for an impressive 45 minutes. But up on the ice stalking its prey stands the ringed seal's biggest threat. It's the polar bear. Polar bears are not only the largest bear, but the largest land carnivore in the world. They are closely related to the brown bear, and the two species can even interbreed. Polar bears have a bite force of 1,235 pounds per square inch. In comparison, a human has a bite force of 162 pounds per square inch. Polar bears feed primarily on ringed seals, but will also eat bearded seals, harp seals, hooded and harbor seals, when available. They hunt by patiently waiting next to a hole in the ice until it senses a surfacing seal. Polar bears also hunt by finding a seal's pup's den and breaking through the top, then quickly grabbing the young pups. But sadly, less than 2% of a polar bear's hunt is actually successful. The polar bear is king of the Arctic and has no natural predators. Although rare, there have been cases of walruses and wolves killing them. Humans probably cause the most polar bear deaths by hunting and by destroying problem animals near settlements. So remember to admire these animals from a safe distance and respect their habitats 
After all, they are wild animals. Thanks for watching.